It's not that I'm fast. It's not that I'm strong. It's not because I come from a family of fighters. It's because I'm the smartest up here. There's no fighter out there that can match me up here. What's up? It's your boy Remus, and welcome to the Champ Set Podcast, the podcast for champions. Welcome to the Champ Set Podcast, the home for champions. And today we're going to be talking about something that very few fighters are going to be able to take away and employ it. And if you can do it, you're going to have such an edge. Today we're going to be talking about the importance of being able to be a relaxed fighter. Because contrary to what the popular belief is of boxers, we look at fighters as just being these angry savages that just have no emotional stability and are just crazy and just angry and all these problems of the past are going to come up and they just want to get out of the ring, blah, blah, blah. But it's not so much the case. That's not really so true. The case is that just like if you was to think of, say, a samurai warrior, or a kung fu master you would think of that guy you know those me- you know those meditating masters as like really cool really calm really collected and really relaxed and that's exactly how boxing is because in many ways boxing is just even just a way of like another type of uh, you know martial art it's it's like another way of fighting that actually teaches teaches you how to be calmer teaches you how to have more control over yourself because at the end of the day boxing is actually just like personal development or it's just a perfect way or perfect platform for you to be able to grow your character so people think that fighters have more success if they're more angry more energetic more um, excited i think it really is the opposite if you're able to i mean Let's first say that in the sport of boxing, the best boxer wins. And being a boxer means you actually have to be highly skilled. The best fighters are highly skilled. The best way to employ skills is to be very calm so that you can use this thing called the brain so that you can use your mind. The more emotionally unstable you are, the more someone's going to be able to take control of you. He's going to be able to influence you in ways that you don't want to be influenced or when you go into the ring the crowd is going to be able to influence you where you you see a lot of fighters right when they're in the ring and maybe they get hit a couple of times and the crowd goes oh ah it actually makes the fighter it gets the fighter out of his game plan because now he's thinking he's emotionally reactive to the crowd he's emotionally reacted reactive to the people who are watching and and he doesn't want to be embarrassed so what he does is he allows that um he, he gets in what i call reactive mode rather than proactive mode and he's unable to fight on under his control it's almost like in response to what the emotions are telling him to do rather than what his logic is telling him to do So what you have to do so that you don't fall victim to this is from now, from early as possible, know that the most relaxed you can be, the better. If if you can fight totally relaxed throughout the whole match, that's the perfect, that's the perfect scenario. Because not only are you going to be able to think better, but physically you're going to be able to perform better. So think think about a guy who's under a lot of stress right if he's under a lot of stress he's not uh, um his body is going to struggle to perform at the same level because it's going to be it's going to be flustered it's going to be all over the place it's going to be unsure it's easier to gas out because yeah you might get a, a strong um chemical boost that you know gives you a lot of energy in a moment but then you're going to have a a down and you're going to quickly fall but if you are able to just fight strategically without emotions you can just call on that as you want it to come up you can call on the on 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 that um on that second wind as you deem it necessary so let's say that you're in in the ring with a guy you're fighting and um let's say that he's starting to get the better of you maybe he pushed you back into the ropes or whatever and you're taking some punches for that round the guy that's able to relax more in this in despite of that situation is going to have the best chance of a comeback in the next round because the guy who is going to get flustered 
he's going to be, as I said, emotionally reactive. He's not going to just hold on, you know, be okay with holding on because he wants to impress the crowd. He's not going to be able to um, make himself look like he's not too hurt so that the referee doesn't stop the fight. He's not able to just think clearly and go, hmm, what is the best next step? Okay, let me just get myself some time. Okay, what is now the best step after getting myself some time to just relax, getting a bit of space, clinching, stopping the guy, you know, first just negating the guy's attack. And then um, a guy who's able to control himself, able to be relaxed, is able to take advantage of that situation and then throw some good counter punches. There's no way you're going to be able to do that if you can't handle the pressure. And what we see when we see the best fighters is that they're able, they have such a high mental threshold for taking, um, I don't want to say physical punishment, but I'd rather say like mental torment. They have a high capacity, a high threshold to take, you know, a lot of, you know, they, they can take a lot of shit basically. So they're still able to come back. They're still able to think it through. They're still able to get themselves together, be light on their feet or do whatever is necessary, basically. It doesn't even really matter what it is. It just, it's just to say that the guy who's more relaxed is able to make that next move in a better way, in a better fashion. So that's all I'm going to have time for today. Just make sure from now you try to... Oh, the last thing I would say is this. If you want to control your ability to relax, you have to control your breathing. So what you do is you just focus on the sensation of your breath going in and going out and you just allow your body to relax. And what you do is you relax your shoulders, you relax your muscles, because a lot of the time you don't even notice that you're tense. And if you actually practice that every day, it becomes second nature just all of the time, which means it will become second nature also when you're in the ring. So try to relax your body at all times. When you go through stressful or challenging situations just in everyday life, do the same thing. Try to find that point of relaxation so that it just becomes normal to you. But that's that's all I'm going to say. Stay focused. Let's get this greatness. Transfer. If you liked that video where we was going over the mental aspects of fighting, and if you want to take your mindset and boxing to the next level, what I want you to do is check out the online recordings of the Remus Boxing Masterclass, which was a class that we did to go over fight strategy and mindset concepts. It's two hours worth of recordings in which we go over different things such as dealing with pressure, controlling the mind, fight strategies, and designing your mind so that it's ready for war. All you have to do is go in the link in the description so that you can watch it online or download it so you can watch it wherever you want to watch it. Remember, boxing is mostly mental, so you have to train your mind just as much as you train your body. And I'm sure this is going to help. So after you watch it, let me know what you think. Peace.